Hey everyone, today on Garden Fork, how to mouse proof your house with help from Charlie Fox. <laughs> Ready? I don't have a ball. All right, here we go. What are you doing? The lens was dirty. Is that better? Yeah, you're much clearer now. All right, I even have a list here. So we have experience in country and urban mouse prevention because we've lived in both places. And I will share with you my experiences. If you have some more suggestions, I'd love to learn from you in the comments below here. But let's start, okay? Let's start. All right, the number one thing I think is a clean kitchen. It makes a big difference. Uh, if your kitchen has food, plates, stuff like that in the kitchen sink, it's just like an invitation to them. It's like a buffet dinner. You know, it's like, hey, come on in, you know. So clean sink, let your dishes dry out. Having a dishwasher is a super big plus, being able to close that. You can have dirty dishes for a couple days, but just keep them in the dishwasher with the door closed. That really helps. You had a suggestion? Yeah, if you have a cat or dog and they don't eat all their food in one sitting, which seems silly, but some don't, then uh, don't just leave the kibble out for them to munch on all day. Yeah, because the, the mice are going to munch on it as well. I had a buddy of mine who was complaining he had mice in his apartment, so I went over there and I walked into the kitchen and there's this bowl of food on the floor and I'm like, you're you're feeding the mice. I mean, the dog went over there a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, but thankfully with Labradors, they just inhale whatever you put in front of them, so it's gone in a minute and you can just put the bowl away. Thankfully. The other part of that is the follow-up is to store your animal pet foods in a closed sealed container. We have these plastic rollout bins and we also have these metal bins that both work really well. Um, no one's getting in those. Yeah, yeah, especially the... Labs. Yeah. <laughs> we have them up on a shelf so they can't get to them. <laughs> this is a very good dog food container. I'll link to these uh, these dog food container, the plastic ones we have in the show notes below here. If you like to feed your birds, keep that seed somewhere in a tight closed container as well. Metal container is the best for that kind of thing. And the same thing goes for grass seed. You might not think about that, but grass seed is food for mice. So it's just in a plastic bag in your garage, you're, you're feeding the mice. So put that in a closed container as well. What about the garden seeds that you're saving from year to year? Actually, I keep all my garden seeds in the refrigerator, oh. which I think is a great long-term storage place for it. But yeah, you gotta think about that because that's all food source for mice. If you wanna prevent the mice from coming in your house in the first place, you have to do what I call intrusion detection. But go along your house where the foundation meets the wood part of your house or the brick part of your house and see if there are perhaps some holes or better yet, just go along and you can pack steel wool into there or, hold on, I have the prop up here. This is called pest block. It is a spray foam, so this is a good thing. So I do these two together to keep mice out of the house in the first place. So think about where they can go in. And I know one place they do come in, which is right over here. Oh, there's a gap. This uh, bottom door sill is rotting out and they can get in here. So I'm gonna take some steel wool and it unfolds. You want to wear some gloves maybe when you're doing this. But you can take this, put it in here, and shove it in. Uh, I'm not going to go the whole way here because that involves bending. But um, this will keep the mice out of your house because they don't like to chew through this steel wool. This is like a medium steel wool, which works well. Nobody likes to eat metal. Look along the bottom edge of your doors. And if you see a gap, mice can get through that. Charlie. She's looking for rodents. That's another way to prevent them. So what do you do once you have mice in your house? I'm a big advocate of electronic traps. We have a whole video about that. The link is below and at the end of the show here. They work really well. They're kind of expensive but they're really effective as well. You can also use snap traps, which work very well. And we have some information about that. I'll link in the show notes and at the end of the video here. I'm not big on poisons or glue traps. Um, glue traps are just 
not nice. The poison, if the once that rodent eats the poison, if they leave your house and then maybe a hawk or a snake grabs that mouse. Or your cat. Or your cat, then that animal also gets the poison as well, which is a bad thing. Snap traps, my favorite bait is peanut butter. And let me show you, I think, the best way to put down a snap trap, okay? So if this is a wall of your garage, your basement, or your house, if you put two snap traps right next to each other up against this wall, mice like to travel along walls. And they might be able to jump over one trap, but they can't jump over two, and they might be enticed by the peanut butter you're gonna put on here as well. So two in pairs along edges work really well. Keep these out of the way of your animals, of course, but you could put these under a couch or under a chair, something like that, in an out of the way place. What was that? All right, there you go. If you have some suggestions for mouse proofing, I'd like to learn from you guys in the comments below. Cats work as well. I'm allergic to cats, unfortunately. Hi, Henry. So we have plenty of eclectic DIY videos. More information about me and all that stuff is below here. And also at the end of the show, you click on, there's supposed to be a thing here. It'll take you to more Garden Forky stuff. All right, make it a great day. Any chipmunks? She likes chipmunks. She does. <laughs> See you later. Bye.